Good day, traders. What a boring day today. It's putting me to sleep. Right now, I just wanted to go and watch TV and fall asleep. But uh, I got to shoot the video. The show must go on, huh? Yeah, the show must go on. Okay, let's show you the divergence. Yeah, make this video quick. <laughs> right there like that. And like this. And the little doodah goes right there. Or, or here maybe, I don't know, wherever. Got a nice solid close, lower close on this candle right here. So if we got short here, stop would be right here, 10. This is the NASDAQ. Let's say you put it up here, 15 points. Well, it went down 37 points. So you got your, you would have got your two to one win loss ratio. That was before the open. Here's the opening spike right here. 9.30, stock market opens. They shoot it right up. Was there divergence? Oh yeah, oh yeah, there was. Even in this crappy day, there was. Did they go very far? No, but they still gave you setups. Oh, I forgot the doodah. Doodah, doodah. Okay, so I myself, after a 40-point spike like that, you know, that big spike in candle, I would wait for some kind of retracement. So I'm saying, let's say we got in right here. That's in hindsight. 24-point <laughs> stop. Did we get 24 points? We did right there. We got it. And what did it do for the rest of the day? Nothing. <laughs> Chopping. Chop, chop, chop. Yo, yo, chop. Let's look at the Dow quickly. Right here. And right there. And you would have got in, say, right on the opening of this candle. Right there. Put your stop up here. 47, we'll say 50 point stop right there. Did it go down 100? <laughs> it did. It just did. There's your 2 to 1 win-loss ratio. Did we have a buy in here after the... This is 1630? Yeah, this is the 1630 spike. Did we have divergence to buy to go up? I don't think so. No, we did not. And you know why we did not? Because we need this valley to be higher. And the reason why it's lower than this one is because it came down too far. So when it comes down, it's got to paint those in, right? <clears throat> and that's why there was no trade. Other than a cross up and a buy, if you would have just bought it there, well, it went up 80 points. Let's take a look at the S&P now. Oh, droopy, droppy S&P. Well, it has the same trade as the other two. The hard to see divergence. Just like that, like that, somewhere in there. And we put our arrow to sell right there. And it went down uh, eight and a half points with about a four point stop. So it worked out fine. Oh, over here it worked out. Look, look. But it didn't work out. It was a, it turned into bad, very bad. But it was divergent, and I always show the losers. You can't be winning all the time, right? Right. So, there was a big spike up here. So, say you would have got in right here. Your stop would have been nine points, and it only went up like three points. Yeah, man. You'd still be in it if you held on for dear life. Um, but it didn't come and hit your stop because your stop was under here. But it looks like, right now, it probably looks like it'll just drift lower and get the stop if you were still long from up here. I, myself, I would have saw this crap 
even if I lived through this one, <laughs> this big spike down, as soon as it came back up, I would have got out right there. I would have said, I had enough of that. And that would be the end of that. <laughs> but that was a setup. Okay, let me put the dude on. That was a setup to buy, and it was basically, there was no follow through. You know, it's not like the Dow and it rallied up here. It would have been nice if it would have done that. But it didn't do that. Let's look at oil now. Oh, look at oil. La di da. What do we got here? Well, we have to draw it. We can't. We can't draw it like this because it's basically level. Okay. You need to have a dipsy do, meaning a dip. Right here was the dip. Okay. That is lower than here. Otherwise, it won't be divergent. Right. So anyway, you got in right here, and it's right there. That's divergent. So somewhere in here, say on the opening of this candle, and you would have been right at resistance, and the chart would have been right up here at the top. Remember that. Very scary to buy up there. Okay? So say we got in right there. Our stop would have been 57 ticks oh my god it went up 60 ticks you would have got your one-to-one -one? holy geez louise let's take a look at the pound yen now oh the pound yen the pound yen right here there is divergence yeah it's right in there there we go Right here and you would have got in right here boom it went up pound yen 45 pips stop would have been under here about 20 pips you would have got your two to one win loss ratio and what about the euro yen it's pretty choppy too huh yeah have to read the charts here it's taking a while yeah like so from here to here no it's not this is mountain peaks higher there's no divergence to sell there's no divergence right here to buy wow and there's no divergence here to sell wow there's no diver double bottom divergence see that to buy here Oh my God, there's no selling, there's no buying, there's no selling, there's no buying. There's nothing. There is no divergence on the Euro Yen today. Wow, what a crappy day. Is it Monday today? No, it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at gold. Oh yeah. Uh, oh boy, you think? Well, we could. We could draw it like this, and that's a dip. That's lower. I guess we could We could find a way. <laughs> uh, sometimes trying to find a trade out of nothing is like the worst thing you can do. It's like, leave it alone. Go, go for a nap. Go for a walk. Whatever you want to do, just don't do the trade, but... Like Beretta says, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. So if you want to <laughs> put yourself in danger of crime, well, try and make a, a trade setup out of nothing. There was actually a trade setup here. It was okay, but it wasn't the best. But it was good in favor of the move. It went up 132 points, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's divergence up here. Got a high and higher high. And look at that. It's just sticking out right at you. Right at you. And we put our little dude on. And right on the opening of this pin bar, pin bar to the downside, meaning a bearish pin bar, it went down 20 points. I would put my stop just above the pivot level, 56 point stop. You see that up there? Okay, and it only went down 20 so far, but it could go down and hit T1. 
target one, which would be a one-to-one -one win loss ratio, determining and basing it on the stop loss. Okay, let's look at the pound now. What did it give us? Oh, it's crap too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this crap here. Sideways shuffle. Anyway, after this big candle up, it's telling you, hello, hello, we're going up. And that's exactly what they did. So if you had the balls to buy it right here, you know, your stop would go down here about 24 pips. Went up 33, 34. You got your one-to-one. -one. And that's it for today. Uh, sorry to go through the charts so fast. Uh, I'm, I'm falling asleep here watching this market. Um, so that's it for today. I swear it was Monday, but it's not. It's Tuesday. What a crappy day. It's like, where is everybody? Where's the traders? I don't know. Maybe they're still on their weekend holiday. The big, the big dogs. I don't know. The whales or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, once again, my name is Jason Sweezy. I trade divergence. I love divergence. I have a passion for divergence. I believe it's the only strategy that has ever worked for me, and that's why I trade it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Good luck and good trading.